Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of us doing stupid stuff. So let's uh, suspend construction. We're gonna change of plans. Change of plans, guys. We're gonna do something different. Hello, hello, and welcome back to uh, another episode of Soviet Republic. Welcome back to our beautiful, beautiful, uh, oh, finished research program. Perfect, we're gonna do, deal with that. Um, right, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to destroy all of this, right? Can you just return stuff, please? Yeah, uh, let, let's, uh, let's, let's demolish this, assign the demolition office. We're gonna be doing something different this time. Um, demolish, yes. Oh, some of them are actually fu uh, fully removed. That's fine. Let's uh, speed this up a bit. Uh, demolish. Demolition office. Right. So, we had the uh, really nice comment in the comment section coming from uh, Pam. Uh, you can find it in the comment section. I'm not going to go into more details, names and stuff. Um, she suggested something that I n never considered and uh, I'm going to do that. We're going to be implementing the vehicle repair station into the... Uh, is this assigned to it? Uh, looks like it is. It's assigned to all of them. Perfect. Uh, assign this one as well, right? Perfect. They're assigned. Okay, so let them let them demolish this, and we're gonna be. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try out a design uh, of the vehicle repair station. The problem is gonna be that how do I implement even the storage facility for? Wow, I inf imported so many mechanical parts. Oh, that sucks. Okay, whatever. It's working, uh, and it's not uh, draining any more money, so it's it's fine. Right, so let's do the research first, and then we're gonna play around with this while the guys are uh, removing the removing the stuff from there. Um, and a couple of other things uh, Pam actually mentioned, which I really, really appreciate. Uh, when you set up a construction area, why didn't you plan for a vehicle repair uh, or a technical office? Both are very uh, inland, uh, be easy to lay out before your plan uh, is finalized. Also, uh, I would begin working on the coal and oil economy as soon as possible, just to reduce need for imports. That, that's a good idea. Now we're gonna go and uh, check what Pam was talking about and uh, what we can do here. So let, let's go for, let me see, uh, uh, let's go for recycling. I think it's gonna be, uh, let's go steel recycling first. Okay, let's talk while this is being uh, removed uh, and we're gonna be planning a new, uh, new construction area, new construction offices. Let's talk about the... Uh, the coal. Um, I was just waiting for somebody to say something normal. Hey, go for coal. And there we go. Pam uh, stepped up and said go for coal, which is perfect. But that's exactly what I want to do. Uh, I also commented on her comment about coal. So I'm going to go into more details what I think about coal. So coal, coal is really hard to export. Coal is really, really hard to export because it's bulky. Uh, so, more or less, you might need trains, probably need trains, so having these big uh, coal trucks on the border crossing. I made videos, I made videos about this uh, over two years ago. Uh, Coal-based economy, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it with uh, exporting coal, which is also not a problem, you just need to build the railroads. In realistic mode, it's going to be a problem, because out of uh, purchase of the railroad kind of have to be, has to be if you want to start with coal exports. So, this is the big thing about the coal um, in this game it's bulky and in realistic mode uh, railroads are really really expensive and complicated to build so yeah the, the, these are the problems that we have so um, there's other way you can export coal and that is through electricity um, it does it it does have to be um, yeah, it does have to be complicated, and it is uh, complicated, it's expensive, you need to build a coal infrastructure, a uh, power plant, and then export electricity. You have maximum how much you can export, that would be 18 megawatts, megawatt hours of electricity, so if we build a power plant, um, we can only export 18 megawatt electric of electricity. We can see how much we are importing. For example, here, border crossing, we are currently importing around 3 megawatt, 2.8, up and down, jumps, uh, but it, it's perfectly stable. Uh, this is what I like of, uh, about the imports because you know you just pay you know your your dirty uh, dirty money to to electric uh, to to somebody else to to do the dirty business. Um, yeah, so 
Um, I think this is the only viable thing that we can do regarding the electricity, uh, regarding coal. The only viable thing we can do. Oh, they actually didn't dismantle. I thought they just gonna go and pick up the stuff because they didn't build anything. Actually, they did build foundations and stuff. That's fine. Let them do 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 do, do that. They do do so well. Voodoo. Um, right. Um, what I wanted to say is, uh, I think we can do a simple setup here. I need to do calculations. So, first of all, how much will coal cost? Oh, uh, Pam mentioned oil, but we're going to ignore that. <laughs> all jokes, uh, joking. Um, oil is here. Oil is similarly bulky like coal um, uh, to transport. So, you need like train infrastructure to export, even fuel and bitumen. By trucks, it's fine, but uh, yeah, it's still going to be a lot of uh, trucks and uh, border crossing issues and stuff like that, you know. So, oil is complicated as well, but oil is extremely profitable, like bitumen and fuel, both both of them are bitumen, we all know how expensive that is, so bitumen is, um, uh, bitumen is in, in a league of its own. Okay, so that being said, oil it also requires a lot of people to work in the oil power plant, oh, oil refinery. Uh, oil refinery it requires a lot of people to work there, so we're gonna new, need a new city. And this is what we're in the progress of doing right now. We're building a new city, we're gonna be building it around here in this plateau, as you can see. And uh, from there, we're gonna be supplying it with workers, whatever, you know. And any future issue, any future thing that we want to build is gonna be based around... Uh, it's gonna be... Uh, any future oil thing is gonna be based around the new city if we decide to go for it but coal is something that we have already here in these mountains and the uh, coal is something that uh, we can exploit much much cheaper okay so let's um, let's talk about uh, so that that's me ignoring the oil even though we addressed it a little bit um coal wise i don't want to export coal by trucks uh, that's one thing. I don't want to export it by train because it's too expensive to, in, to invest in train infrastructure. I think it's going to be pain in the rear end to create train infrastructure. So coal um, can only be exported by adding value to it. That would be bricks. That would be... Actually, is bricks even adding value to it? Let, let's go do a little quick math. So we're going to go for brick factory. Let's go for vanilla. 51 tons, 33 tons of coal to 51 tons of bricks. Uh, so that's th five to three that you get. So let's see how much is coal compared to bricks. So we have bricks 28 and coal is 13. So we need, um, yeah, it's way, way more. So we're going to be using um, uh, 13 tons of coal to create 20-ish, uh, 20-ish tons of bricks. So, yeah, uh, Sorry, 13 tons. This is 13 rubles. 13 rubles of coal to create... Uh, sorry, that's one ton to create almost two tons of bricks. So yeah, it, it's a quite profitable thing. We can we can deal with the bricks, but bricks are bulky as well. Um, yeah, so the, this, is, this is the positive and negatives of coal. Uh, plus, coal can be used... Uh, we can switch back to coal heating instead of oil heating oil is just um, initially when you're importing stuff i think you should always go for oil just because oil is like why is it october and we don't have oil anymore here yeah i think these guys are i think we're gonna need oil distribution um improvements because this is this is not working i mean like it's working but looks like they're way too busy um uh, delivering well anyway i'm i'm getting off track here so uh, oil oh look how beautiful it looks like uh, let, let's enjoy this one a bit this is the road going to the border crossing and some of you said that uh, you like it in hala was the one so uh this is the street lights going to the border crossing and voila it goes all the way here uh, beautiful beautiful i, I like it like uh, see who leaky can do some stuff not good but stuff um right so coal would be uh, we would need to place in the let's uh, speed this up uh, because it's night uh, coal would be would be relatively easy to make um to mine because only it requires uh, uneducated labor force and it's close to the city here and i would be mining only as much as we can um, as much as we need for power production and maybe a little bit something something on the side for the uh, heating if we need uh, for heating plants or, or whatever we need or, or we can even go for multiple power plants let me just see if we have border crossing electricity we have here we have here uh, border crossing electricity and the rest of them are too far away 
it's a little bit far away. Anyway, so uh, we can even go for two border crossing electricity and we have third one over here. So we can go for three uh, border crossing, uh, like exporting electricity, but I think it's overkill. Um, maybe. We, we can make the big Belhatuv or Belhatuv, I like call it, the huge coal power plant. That would be... Where is it? What is this? What, what am I missing here? Uh, I'm missing research. Gas power. Oh, that's a gas power. Okay, I don't care about that. Um, right, th there is an enormous uh, coal power plant. I just need to find it. Uh, would it be this one? No. 4,000? No, I think this is Rob's one. Uh, we have coal power plant here. I, I should have it. Hopefully the mod wasn't removed or something. I should have it. Maybe I need to find it in the other mods, but it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll find it. So we have a normal coal power plant, but I don't think I want to start with that one. Uh, I think I want to start with the smaller one. So you have here maximum voltage uh, circuit breaker 19 megawatts. So this is uh, not it. Uh, this is 7. Ah, right now this is the circuit breaker. Wait. Yeah, yeah, this is what we need to look at. Circle breaker, 70 megawatts. Uh, we can export only 18. So something in between uh, we can go for. So the, the, like I'm thinking like 25 to 30 megawatts uh, production. So this is a 30 megawatt. But this is the one that requires uh, college educated people and I had problems with them. So uh, I'm going to skip that one. Um, anyway, so, so okay, I'm done. I'm done explaining. Um, I think coal is something that I was planning to do. I was just thinking of if you guys are interested to see that. And uh, the, the the setup of the uh, construction offices. I'm going to do those two things um, now in a time lapse. Uh, hopefully they're going to remove this all of this construction that they started. I only built foundations, so it's not a big deal. Uh, we still have a plateau here. I can make the uh, service station in the middle and then surround it. We'll see. I'll play around with that. Um, the second thing, I'm going to go with some mine. I, I need to choose a power plant first, and then I'm going to need to see how much coal it's going to require, and then then um, I need to co produce a little bit more coal than the power plant consumes and maximum productivity. So we have some leftover coal and then I need to align mine to that. We have a lot of mines as well that we need to choose from. So it's going to be a lot of a, a little bit of mathematical equations that I'm going to be doing and hopefully not mess it up. So yeah, that, that's what I'm going to be in time lapse. Okay, so it's morning, it's Saturday, it's Sunday. 10.04 a.m. Uh, for Leaky, so that means coffee time and time-lapse time. See you back in five.
And here we go. Okay, let's speed through the night. I think it's just night starting. Um, 3,000 days to finish the tunnel. Uh, these are the two more important things. Not more important. Everything else needs to be in place when the tunnel is finished. So I'm not focusing on the tunnel and putting any more workforce here. Just because there's no need for it. So a couple of these uh, microbuses delivering these people, it's fine. You can see here that we need like almost a thousand days for this segment of a bridge and then over a thousand days for the next segment of the bridge. So yeah, and concrete. Why are we missing concrete? That should be easy to deliver. Uh, yeah, I mean like it's being delivered, uh, but it's fine. Uh, let me just double check this and the last one. Nixer is coming here with nine, ten tons of concrete. This is exactly what we need and uh, this is going to be last uh, pouring concrete stage. We have a couple of others that we explained in the last, uh, that Frankie Berlin explained to us in the last episode that I just read what he said. Okay, uh, that's what he said. Haha, <laughs> there we go. A he joke. Okay, so... Um, comments, comments, comments. Um, old Gala. After the learning curve of the last couple of uh, last couple, it's good to see you uh, noticeably enjoying playing the game while entertaining us on the map uh, that is playable and survivable in realistic mode. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I'm still learning a lot of this stuff. I mean, like all jokes aside, like I'm not perfect, and uh, 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 mostly I play with you guys. And by the way, yeah, you notice that I didn't play anything yesterday for me. I didn't uh, progress the game at all. Uh, it was just real life kicking my ass and uh, I had to do stuff so I didn't have time to play it so uh, we are actually uh, kicking off where, where we left off last time you can see here the, the what I decided to go with the construction offices I'm 100% sure that this could have been done a little bit nicer but um, it's hard one two three four five big construction offices this one is not connected to the service um, uh, service station but that's fine we'll we'll survive and um, yeah, I could have done a little bit better job, but I think it's fine as well like this for now, for now. In the future, I'm going to work on this design. Pam, thank you so much for suggesting this. This is great because this is going to be bulk, huge chunk bulk of our... Uh, vehicles uh, are gonna be here and they're gonna need to be maintained and if they are connected to the repair station it's great if you have any better suggestions that we can set it up in a better way discord you have if you want to chat with me or us and uh, also comment section is fine perfectly like try to explain in a sentence or two I'll, I'll hopefully I'll understand um, right the the copti said I'm looking forward to seeing uh, are we speeding up fast yes we are we need to, we need stuff here. We need electricity. We need uh, uh, fuel. We need uh, technical services. Even though some of them are actually cleaning the roads quite nicely, but we still need more of it. I need to upgrade the roads, which I didn't do. Uh, that's going to be a challenging part. And um, yeah, there's stuff to be done. The tram system is working. I still need to check out what uh, Babushka said. Which trams we can actually get? Uh, actually, can I do it now? Uh, let, let me finish the comment section. So Pam said uh, regarding oil and coal, we're going to listen to Pam. Pam uh, is doing a great job suggesting. Uh, I, I'm I'm going to go for this coal. Hopefully it's going to be good enough. Uh, or, or what you guys think it is. So mine, uh, processing, uh, probably I should go for storage as well. So this power plant is still a work in progress. For example, I can do it like this. Um, I can do the processing. We need a storage. I can do a little bit different storage. I'm playing too much with vanilla storages. So yeah, leaky playing with vanilla. That's that's a oxymoron. So it's not really oxymoron. It, I'm definitely playing with vanilla, but uh, too much. I don't know. So this would be the storage, which is gonna go here from conveyor belts over here. I'm using again vanilla. Ha! Huh? You see what Uliki can do? Uliki can actually vanilla. Uh, let's do it like this. Like this. I think this would be it. Like, like this. And then we would have coal storage here where we can also put the loading station for the trucks that need to distribute coal elsewhere. Uh, and then, of course, the main uh, star of the show would be the coal power plant, would be. Uh, let's see where we can place it so entrance needs to be on this side which is fine the only concern that i have here the only concern i have here is that i wanted them to share the 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 bus station but it, they don't have to they don't have to we can do it uh, in a different way so we can do it like let's say this 
Oh, this one requires cooling tower as well. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. It's a big power plant. I think it's 20 megawatts. So it's not... I, I wanted to go for a little bit bigger than this. But uh, that's what she said. But um, um, I'm fine with uh, with this little F2. What's the deal with... Uh, it's really, really hilly here. Can I level it like this, maybe? I think a lot of my bulldozers are working on the roads. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. We're not building this. We're not building it yet. This is going to take time. I'm building a road system. I knew I'm going to stop the... I'm going to stop production uh, because this is something that uh, we need to do. I, I, I was even hoping to finish the, another farm before we actually even continue with this. So this is work in progress. This is just a plan. And uh, there's a water source here that we need to be considerate about, but I'm pretty sure that this is far enough from the water source that it's not going to be uh, influencing us. Because 3 Division is just going to kill everybody. <laughs> that They're threatening us. Like, Go. Come on, sucker. Try and finish this freaking power plant. I'm going to kill your population. Uh, right, we have this one here. Ooh, this is done. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This one is done, so round about here. Oh, this is gonna look beautiful. This is gonna be beautiful, I'm telling you. This tram line is gonna be... I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. Um, right, um, the, let, let's go, go back to the comment section. Um, Kopti saying, I'm looking forward to seeing the waste being processed uh, in the little recycling plant. Don't call my recycling plant little. It's a huge... It's gonna be processing the hell out of this place, so the, out of this... Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking about this. I'm still this is still work in progress. We have 56% full here. We have 78% full here. 51 here, and this one is whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we having so much hazardous waste, guys? That's way too much hazardous waste. I have to say. Okay, I'm gonna increase the processing rate. That's a lot of hazardous waste. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this could be a problem. 90% full, this is fine. Processing, we have space to store all this waste. When it's processed, we have chemicals, we have everything, everything is fine, no issues, but damn it! What the hell is... Oh, wait, why is there... Why is it not being transported here? I don't know. Well, I, okay, I give up. Uh, well, I'll, I'll still work on the recycling industries, this is fine. Even if we have to rebuild everything, it's not a big deal for me, at least. Okay, so, um, comments, uh, conveyor connection and general separation plan, yeah, we, we addressed this with old Gala, uh, that uh, the conveyor belts can can separate the trash themselves. Thank you for all those suggestions, guys. Okay, so the uh, in the Discord channel, is there issues, questions and help, I ask uh, how, what we can transport and where, and then... <clears throat> The uh, pickle uh, babushka uh, did amazing, amazing uh, work in troubleshooting or, or um, telling us which trams we can transport. So she tried vehicles that can be transported. Uh, so I tried uh, what vehicles can transport trams. The biggest tram KT8D5 can only be carried by ships or an anton of planes. Smaller trams like LM68 can be carried by trucks, but have to wait until 1977. I'm gonna assume that's Maz MZ truck. Uh, there is also T6B5 tram which can be carried by more trucks. Seems like trams shorter than 15 meters and weighing less than 18 tons are the best to transport. Everything over that is difficult. Okay, so let's see the model T6B5 that uh, Pickle Babushka has told us. Now, by the way, it doesn't really matter what speed the trams are going. First of all, we don't need to clean the snow of the uh, tram tracks. Even if it's like 60 kilometers per hour, this is fine. They have segregated roads. Nothing is going to be in their way. They're just going to go there and back. They're going to be faster than the buses double at least double even if they are slower they're gonna be faster just because the the way the system works the, the because they are separate okay so let's go now and check the trams <clears throat> so pickle babushka said um uh, kt8d uh, i'm gonna go for vanilla okay no vanilla uh, kt uh, looks like wait what vanilla items why trolley buses no wait ah right there yeah, okay trams this is vanilla, uh, KTM2, KTMD, I don't have this one, I think I have to wait, or unless it's in a workshop, I'm, I'm still gonna go for the uh, for the mods as well, uh, unfortunately, yeah, none of them are, are mentioned in the, tr in the testing. 
so uh, length uh, 14 meters and 18 tons okay 18 tons seems to be no, it's 10 meters speed 45 kilometers per hour 68 so um, tram 13n uh, if uh, pickle babushka is uh, correct can be transported by most vehicles this is tram uh, 13n this is the one here polish which is great but uh, she is mentioning a t 6b5 which i don't have t6b5 over here probably something later uh, that we're gonna get it's 1969 uh when i'm playing this so that one is not mentioned there and the other one the big one is kt 8d5 i don't have that one either so none of these uh are here so 15 meter is the thing that we are looking for this polish one is 68 kilometers per hour which is great for us looks like this is 19 tons uh pickle bagubushka mentioned there the uh how much did they cost Thirty thousand, uh, eighteen thousand is this one i think this is gonna be great i'm actually really really looking forward to, to putting this in operation so we have uh, several options we have here tram t3 uh i think i'm gonna put a mix now um, they have to be similar speeds because they're gonna be in each other's way oh this is gonna be so good I'm gonna be enjoying this so much. Uh, I think I might go for these Polish ones to see if we can transport them. Just because they're the fastest ones, they can carry 83 people. KTM is uh, very slow, only 45 kilometers per hour. Then we have 60 kilometers per hour here. This one is 20 tons though. So we'll see if we're gonna be able to transport. I I'll probably test these things before we actually implement them. So just a heads up. Did we do the research? We did the research, perfect. Uh, money is slowly piling up so we are not losing any money but i'm fully fully open to uh just importing the uh getting new loans if we need to uh bauxite study what would be i'm missing something there uh renewable energy <laughs> hell no not yet at least we're gonna do it as a joke later uh Uliki is not a fan of renewable because they are not reliable bauxite uh, we don't have on this map there's no bauxite or, or uh, uh, uranium we can import it though and then renewables aluminium burning i'm not gonna be burning waste and um, one more thing Let, let's see how much time do we have i'm uh, kind of moaning a little bit but um, uh, th this is something that it's really important i think for all of us uh, to understand um trash is unreliable the waste is unreliable guys just don't rely on waste like this seems like a lot of waste this seems like a lot of um a resource that you can get from that and you can but i'm stockpiling this for last nine years so divide this for by nine years and it's not like even it, it this is not you cannot count on this you cannot count on heat from waste you cannot count on electricity from waste because when the waste is gone you're screwed the same with the steel production and plastic production you cannot rely on this because once it's gone it's it's like you, you're just gonna your country is gonna stop do not rely or that waste is gonna save you even even freaking uh, um the uh, the gravel like this is like 400 tons of gravel this is one road like it's a little bit less i think than 400 but this is one road that, that, that we're gonna get from this gravel and that's it like we can't rely on this being continuous source we literally have to distribute back this back into the system and uh and this is just gonna be like you know chipping away expenses for imports but nothing more than chipping away so it's oh epidemic seems like we're impacted by serious infection causing patients severe complications or even death disease is highly infectious and our health system may even collapse the world what what uh, okay health help okay we need to watch the health uh, yeah so uh, we need to watch hazardous waste we need to watch the health and uh, yeah let's continue building thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section let me know what you think like the notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel i have the description of the video thanks for watching guys see you in the next one bye bye